Good day. Today we're going to do lesson plan three, grade five, term two. Our topic is addition. Our workbook link is worksheet 29A. I'm going to go back. You've got your caps link here. Um, if I scroll up, you will then have your resources. You have a warming up game and some interesting facts. Here you also have your dictionary words. So let's quickly then go to the mental maths for the day. Um, this is where the learners can join then. Um, and then we can, they can then answer the questions by pausing this. So um, I want you to pause your computer now and let them do it. Welcome back. Let's quickly see. I get to reveal the answers. You can check them while you're pausing. Okay, welcome back. So with today's edition, we're first going to look at place value. We're going to revise that. Um, and we're going to take the number 78,326 and write it in expanded notation. So it's 70,000 plus 8,000 plus 300 plus 20 plus 6. The next one is 43,578. So it's 40,000 plus 3,000 plus 500 plus 70 plus 8. And then lastly, we got 30,000. 286. Note that we, in the zeroes position, it's a zero. So we got 30,000 plus 200 plus 80 plus 6. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause and quickly explain this to an adult. So let's look at this sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it the other way around. So if we have 90,000 plus 6,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 8, if we add this all, we get 96,438. It's the same with this example. If we have 50,000 plus 7,000 plus 200 plus 90 plus 6, we got 57,296. The next example is then 60,000 plus 300 plus 8. Make sure to see there's nothing in the thousands position or in the tens. So we got 60,308. In our concept development, I go first going to do example number one. Um, this example is might take much longer or it's a longer example, but it's a very important concept and technique we're learning that we need later on in grade six, seven, even grade eight. Um, and the concept of place value help us also later in grade six with the understanding of decimal fractions. So very important, but yet again is from the three examples, you can choose one or one or two to do with your learners. Um, so I first going to do uh, example number one. So example number one, I'm going to add these three numbers and going to use expanded notation. So the first number, 56,423, we got here 50,000 plus 6,000 plus 400 plus 20 plus three. Then the next number we got 7,000 plus 500 plus 80 plus one. And then the next number we got 20,000 plus 1,000, plus 400, plus 70, plus 9. So what we did then is to group them in groups of 10 thousands, groups of thousands, groups of hundreds, tens, and then units. So here we got then 50,000 plus 20,000 equals to 70,000. 6,000 plus 7,000 plus 1,000 equals to 14,000. 400 plus 500 plus 400 equals to 1,300. 20 plus 80 plus 70 equals to 170. 3 plus 1 plus 9 equals to 14. Then what we did is we said 70,000 plus 10,000. We took then the 4,000 and the 1,000 and grouped them together. Here we got the 300 and the 100. We grouped them together the 70 and the 10, and then we have a four left in the units place. And then it's easier for us to add it. So 80,000 plus 5,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus four gives us 85,484. 
pause the video now and explain this orally to yourself and then to an adult. Welcome back. So we're going to look at example number two. Now example number two is where we're going to use the column, the vertical column method. Now this is the first time the CAPS curriculum recommends it. We, most of us are used to do it like this, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain it to you on this side by using expanded notation. Note that your learners can also just add it like this. So what we have here is it's 50,000 plus 6,000 plus 400 plus 20 plus 3. Then underneath it, make sure it's under the right place with the, the place. So we got 7,000 plus 500 plus 80 plus 1. Look here, we got 20,000 plus 1,000 plus 400 plus 70 plus 9. You might need to go back to this number to make sure that there is... We only start with the thousands. Now what we can do is we're going to add. So we say 3 plus 1 plus 9 is 14. Now here we can also write 14, but we can just write down the 4, and we can put the 1 here at the top. So now what we can say is 20 plus 80 plus 70 is 170, or if we have the 1 there at the top, we're going to say 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 7, is 17, we're going to write down the 7, and we're going to carry over the 1. So here we're going to have then is 400 plus 500 plus 400 is 1,300. Here we're going to carry over the 1, plus 4, plus 5, plus 4, and we're going to write down the 3. For 13, and then carry over the 1. Then we're going to... Add this all together, 6,000 plus 7,000 plus 1,000, and we got to have 14,000. So we're going to, if we add 1, 6, 7, 1, we're going to get 14. We're going to carry over the 1, and then we're going to say 1 plus 5 plus 2. Again, repeating 1 plus 5 plus 2 is 8. But let's see what we did here. What we did is we said 50,000 plus 20,000 is 70,000. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to break this up again. We say 70,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus 4. So where do we get this 5,000? Is that 1,000 that we added to the 4,000? And then we can add it and we say it's 80,000 484. I'm going to show again 80,000. I paused there because I wanted you to see that's the 80,000 plus 5, 85,000. We got the 484. So what I did now is I did both met methods in one. What I'm going to do now for example two is I'm just going to do it by explaining the vertical method using the expanded notation on the right hand side. So here again is we got 56,423. I write down 50,620 plus 3. Here I've got 7,500 plus 80 plus 1, 20,000 plus 1,000 plus 400 plus 70 plus 9. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add it. 3 plus 1 plus 9 is 14, 20 plus 80 plus 70 is 170, 400 plus 500 plus 400 is 1,300, 6,000 plus 7,000 plus 1,000 is 14,000, 50,000 plus 20,000 is 70,000. I'm going to write it down here but I'm going to break it up because I want the 14,000. I want 10,000 plus 5,000. Where is that 5,000 coming from? If I have 4,000 here, it's that 1,000. 5,000, 400 plus 80 plus 4. So I group them. So now what we have is if I say 70,000 plus 10,000, it's 80,000. 
I've got the 5,000, so now we've got 85,000 plus your 484. Pause the video here, stop, and do this example then by yourself, using the method you prefer, and then explain it to your adult. Welcome back. So the last one is example three, where we then go to, this is a method that helps you to do it mentally. So I've got 56,423, and I'm going to add this number. I'm not going to break up the first number. I'm only going to break up the second number, and I'm going to add it as I go. So 56,423, if I add 7,000 to it, I get 63,423. Then I'm going to add the 500 to this, and then I get 63. 3,923. When I add then the 80 to this, I get 64,003. And lastly, I need to add the 1, and I get 64,004. Well done. So what you're going to do now is you're going to do the activities in your DBE book, or all the activities in the SA Teacher Workbook, by completing all these addition number sentences. Remember again, we recommend a example or a method to use. You use the method you're comfortable with. I always recommend is if you use one method, always try a second one. Because it's not always to do with the method, but it's a specific technique that you're learning to help you later on with your other mathematics. So then I want you to solve the problem. I want you to do the examples on this side that's coming from old exam or test papers. And then for remediation, any of the learners that struggled make use of these colored flood cards so they can see the colors and how the colors are changing to get to the answer. Then we're going to look at the consolidation. Um, here you can click the yeses. Uh, here you don't have to click all the yeses to carry on because maybe you only decided on one method. Click it, but then we can always back, go back, come back and see if we need to revisit or revise. Or for those learners that can go beyond, maybe do all three methods. So here you just need to click one yes and then you can carry on to the next lesson.